Alright. Okay guys, back in mom's kitchen again. I'm going to prepare some nice Hungarian beef stew. I've got about one kilo of beef shin. I've got again some nice local products, some nice paprika. I've got some pepper. This I'm going to make a salad from with some cucumbers and tomatoes and maybe some onions. Some nice local tomatoes and onions and garlic. These are all gonna go in the stew as well. If you remember from the previous video when I made lecho, you could also use some of that as the base for the stew. So I'm going to use a pressure cooker. This is like proper old school. Mum has two pressure cookers. One is more modern and this one is old school. And then to go with the stew, I'm going to make some tarhonya. If I'm in the UK, I normally I can buy giant couscous or Israeli couscous in Sainsbury's. Well, useful information for UK viewers. This is quite nice to go with stew or sometimes we make um, rice with stew or potatoes. Depends on the season. Okay, so to start the stew, I'm going to chop some onions. Tiny space, but I can manage. Just found this knife, which I bought in 1999 in here in Balaton So I've decided to use this today. Again, same technique as always. Watch your fingers. Very simple. Always hold your fingers like so, and then simple movements. Depending on how fine you want to chop your onions, you can also go this way, yeah, and this way <coughs> is going to be even finer. When I was a trainee, First thing they teach me not to cut off this bit, so the head of the onion, because this is the part that keeps the whole onion together. So see, still in one piece, it's not gonna fall apart. No. For this, I don't really need it too fine. It can be coarse because I'm going to cook it in the pressure cooker, and in the pressure cooker, everything goes into a mush. In no time. Anyway, so I'm gonna use I guess about two onions for this. <coughs> Normally I would use more onions but my mum she always uses less and my stew is always a bit more sweet because I use a lot of onions. So there you go. Where is the lard? Oh, come on, buddy. I forgot the lard. Lard, lard is there. What's in here? Yo. So, again, I'm going to use lard. Let's find a spoon. Be quite generous again. It's fat is flavor. Yeah, just why not? There you go. Okay, that's not done in here. And let's turn this on to hold it. You have to hold it a bit longer. And it starts. Okay, so I'm just gonna melt. <coughs> just gonna melt the lard. If we clean something else, don't need to wash it at this stage. Little sip of beer. <coughs> Today I'm drinking gusser. I'm not sure if gusser is is gusser German or from Austria. I'm not quite sure. 
Hey Google. Yoohoo. Yes. Um, no, I don't want to set the alarm. On you. Eh. Let's try again. So. Hey Google. Is Gus Ser from Germany or from Austria? Here's what I found on the web. Eh, coño. Gusta. Gusta Gus Ser. Uh, Google. Hey Google. Yoohoo. Is Gus Ser beer from Germany or from According Austria? To Wikipedia. Justin Drew Bieber is a Canadian singer. Oh yes, He's I know that. Thank you. His genre melding musicianship oh, is that and global so? influence in modern day popular music. How nice. Let's try again. Hey Google. Is Gusser Beer German or Austrian? Here are some results from the web. You know what? I give up. Anyway, it's a nice beer. I guess Google doesn't like my accent. Hey ho. Let's add the onions. Alright. Wooden spoon. Okay, next up is going to be paprika. Um, two different ways I can show you, there are many ways, but I can show you two different ways to remove the stalk. One way is this, just press it in, comes out, happy days. You still have the seeds, but I don't really care about them, or it works better with this one. You can always see me at work. I use peppers, I normally cut them like this, so I, I can find the point where the stalk is. Yeah, and then I remove this part, and then I remove this part, and there you go, you have no wastage. Anyway, back to cooking. So, again, pretty much the same technique. I think for this pepper it works better if you just push it in. Then we then spoon. So this is going to be our base. So yeah, pretty much a base pretty much is the same as Lecho. But then obviously it's, everything is sliced in a different shape. This knife is pretty good. Quite like it. Quite sure. Still. Was that 20, 24 years old? Is it? 20. Yes, 24. So. Oh, I hate small chopping boards, but this is the biggest one my mom has. She normally works on a tiny one. Alright, so again you can see it's not too what's the word? Not too fine. Mm, I'm just gonna add the peppers. And I'm gonna let this cook on a little. Just gonna cook these up a bit. Then add some tomatoes. Two, three. Let's go for three. This is gonna give you about four portions, four decent portions.
But then again, just the same as with everything else. Someone from Hungary is going to see this, they're going to say, that's not how you make it. But every household makes it in a different way and there's nothing wrong with it. <coughs> it's like, uh, it's quite funny when I get told off on the comment section, like, this is not how you make pad thai. But obviously, I'm a Hungarian chef in the UK. Obviously, I'm not going to make a most authentic pad thai, but it's still nice. That's a nice base. Now seasoning is not gonna be any different from, well actually it's slightly different from natural the other day. I've got caraway seeds again. Okay, I would say this is about, hmm, who knows, two, three grams. So caraway seeds goes in. I should have said the ground caraway seeds. Then we have some black pepper in a very old school container. Let's be generous with black pepper. A bit more generous. Yes, I have to be careful. My dad doesn't like spicy food. And now this is my family. <coughs> we quite like to use marjoram. I love marjoram, it's just such a unique flavor. And a bit as well. Nice. And then of course paprika. This is sweet paprika. Again, as I said in the other video, I'll be generous with this as well. You don't want to burn paprika. Don't burn your paprika because it's gonna go bitter. I'm quite surprised when I see Indian chefs cook and they fry off everything and it's fine with um, garam masala or cumin. All these kind of spices need to be cooked off to get all the nice flavors from them. The paprika burns. And you don't want the bitterness. Okay, that's my base done. Now I'm going to add my meat. Now this is tough meat. You can see it's full of sinew. And you could, oh look at this bit. This is full sinew. But you don't want to throw these away. So that's why I use pressure cooker. <clears throat> this is going to be really, really tasty. I'm not quite sure if my pressure cooker is big enough. And just about. Very borderline. Um, am I? I'm not sure. No, this is just. It's gonna be just fine. Now, when you cook in pressure cooker, oh, salt! I almost forgot salt. All right. Let's add some salt. Now, I'm not gonna add too much because last time I used this salt. It's almost too salty. Just gonna add this much. You can always add salt, can't take it away. A bit of the general seasoning, this also has salt. Just a tiny bit. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this to a smaller flame. I'm gonna add just a tiny, tiny bit of water to it. But you don't want to add too much water because what happens? I think I've done um, stew, I've done stew before on my channel and it was way too runny. But I was too impatient to thicken it. So let's just add some water to it. Like V bit. That's it. add bay leaf to it as well but I want this time okay this looks safe enough I'm just gonna ask my mom oh, okay so I just discussed with mom mom says 
she thinks it needs a bit more liquid but I'm not gonna add water to it I'm just gonna add some white wine I should have thought of it before okay so I just discussed with mom she thinks it needs a bit more liquid so I'm gonna add some to it but I'm not gonna use water I'm just going to add some wine this is a local white wine it's gonna go really well not too much though that's it just tiny bit maybe I'll add some more once I remove the lid okay now here we go okay so at this point actually I can try to do a little taste test before I put the lid on for salt mm, tastes nice already wow a bit of the general seasoning that's it oh wow this is going to be amazing okay and we have to move it here tiny space tiny kitchen big flavors I think this pressure cooker is from the 70s. Like so. Hopefully it's not gonna blow up. And then we can start working on the Tarhonya. Oh, couscous if you like. Uh, again. Another spoon. I'm gonna add some lard. Not too much this time, that's enough. Okay, I'm done with the lard. Oh, where is this here? Alright. Chef needs some cooling agent. It's bloody hot in here, Jesus Christ. It's about 35 degrees outside. Oh, this is nice. So, I'm going to start with an onion. My mom doesn't use onion for this, but I do. So, but this one I'm going to chop a bit finer. My mom says, for the two of them, she normally uses one cup like this. This is about 200 ml, or 150, 200 I would say. Uh, but it's for four of us now, because my wife is coming today as well. Because she is from Budapest, so normally she visits her mom first and then she joins us. So I'm going to cook for four. I'm just gonna sweat off the onions a bit and then the next step is going to be I'm going to make a nice salad kind of traditional um, in Hungary we use very strong vinegar for some reason I don't know why I've been shocked when I well I wasn't shocked but I was looking for strong vinegar in the UK when I went there about 18 years ago and I asked my boss, where can I find more stronger vinegar? And he says, like, go to the um, pharmacy. And he was laughing at me. Because most vinegars are like 5%, maybe 6 
and I think in the UK there is a much better um, culture of around vinegar like you got your um, aspal vinegars, your, your cider vinegars uh, or the balsamic vinegars which you can buy here as well but I think the old generation still prefers to use this kind of um, strong vinegar anyway back to Tarhanya I'm just gonna use the same same wooden spoon as clean yeah so it's gonna be two cups of this and this is slightly smaller than giant couscous and the ingredients are there you go there is British um, country dry pasta made from wheat flour with four eggs simple flour and egg yeah, this looks around the onions look cooked enough so we'll add one and we're gonna add another one it's not quite full but it's gonna be enough okay. so I'll take care of later I'm just gonna fry this off a bit. It's pretty much like cooking rice. So all you do is just brown this off a bit and then rehydrate it. That's what you do. first one sounded quite aggressive so I've just lowered the heat a bit and then this one needs to be stirred starting to burn a bit especially on the sides I don't want to burn it but I want to brown it a bit you can see a couple of spots which I burned already supposed to use around um, three cups of water and I would say about a cup and a half for each cups and then the way my mom cooks this because I just asked her I didn't remember she basically she just brings it to the boil and turns it off but I'm gonna cook it a bit longer Mind you, mom knows better always, so... Let's 
get rid of this lard. Oh, salt! I almost forgot salt. Today, um, today is um, forgetting salt day. A wee bit of salt, not too healthy for you, but it's good. Okay, so I brought this to the boil. I think I'm gonna do same as mum does because she knows better. Put the lid on. I'm just gonna turn it on low heat just for a while and then I'm gonna turn it off. So next step is to prepare our salad. And of course, obviously I already pre-washed all this. Oh, cogno, I forgot. I forgot the garlic from the stew. Oh, mm. wow. So where was I? Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, this is just nicely bubbling away. So, salad. We got some tomatoes, paprika, onion, pepper, and cucumber. I'm going to start with the cucumber. I have to peel this because it's not, it doesn't seem right. I'm just gonna peel the cucumber. I did wash it already. Oh, I washed it already. I don't know. I've recently started to use these um, spell correction tools. Don't want to say the name because I'm not sponsored by them. And it's quite helpful actually, especially for me. Like even though I've been to the UK for 18 years, um, obviously my English is still not perfect and never will be because at home I speak Hungarian and I don't want it to be perfect because it's part of who I am. Alright, I think at this point, let's wait 7 minutes like if you go Christ, it's about the same. Now what I'm gonna do, just nice it in half. I'm not going to take the seeds out, but you could. I just don't want to throw away half of the cucumber. Because why? Again, same technique, just going to slice it up. Quite thin. Absorb all the water. Okay. Next, I should use whatever I get my hands on. Let's follow up with pepper. For this, I'm not gonna take off. Oh, I will. Why not? You can. You don't have to. Let's see. As I said in a previous video, video, as I said in a previous video, that was a work video. So if you slice peppers and tomatoes, you can slice it like so. If your knife is sharp enough, if your knife is not sharp enough, then go skin side down. But a chance not to cutting it yourself. This goes in there. Let's just sharpen this slightly. Ah, you can hear. When you can hear this sound, maybe it's not quite sharp enough, but 
I can still carry on with this. Okay, next is going to be tomatoes. sharpen your knife in various ways. When I was at training um, I had to stand next to a wall so my hands didn't move and then I had to practice on two wooden spoons something like um, like so. So that was my practice. <coughs> So you can do it this way. What you don't want to hear is this. You're just destroying your knife. Lots of people do this. No. Go from here. Yeah. If you're not confident, you can go like this. Just make sure that depending on the knife, what angle you use. Like um, German knives normally use 20 degrees ish. Or 15 and then you get um, Japanese knives use like 12 degrees ish but it's I think each knife has a different um, setting to it Carberry guy knows how to sharpen a knife. And still have a paprika. Let's get rid of the seeds. I don't need them. Again, same technique. garlic bloody hell garlic <clears throat> if you don't like garlic because it because it's stinky all you have to do is just to remove nothing here mate yes so if you don't want garlic to be stinky you have to remove this middle bit if you can no I can't it is too fresh Again, a bigger knife would help, but this will do as well. Oi. 
there we go pretty much paste already nice you could add a bit of garlic here as well but as I said my parents are not very keen on garlic or too much garlic I should say so I want 50 spins the chopping board I'm gonna wash it later tidy up here so this can go here that's the thing with tiny kitchens you have to keep them tidy as you go clean as you go same as it were clean as you go is the way to go okay so I've got my vegetables all nicely sliced I'm going to add some salt not too much I'm going to add some sugar and you're wondering why I'm adding sugar to salad because I'm going to add this strong vinegar not too much again and I'm just going to mix this up and this is gonna go perfect with the stew there are millions of variations of this but for me stew with tarhonia and this one is perfect it's pretty much sweet and sour in a way I mean this salad is but it goes really well with um, the stew Mm. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, wow. Hopefully, it didn't burn. It smells a bit burnt. Can't force the pressure too much, but. Pressure under pressure under pressure. Let's try this. <coughs> mm, it smells good. Okay, let's see. You can see. Salt forced the water out from the veggies. See how much water there is. And of course, you have the nice vinegar flavor with the sweetness from the sugar. Could use a bit more sugar, maybe. But then you don't want to make it too sweet. Vinegar is so strong. I could use a bit of pepper as well, but don't want to make it too spicy. If I would be at home, well, I am at home. If I'm in the UK, I would definitely add some freshly ground peppers to this. And some garlic as well, big time. Anyway. It's gonna be nice, just like this as well. Just like so. Okay. 
All right. Okay, pressure has been released. Let's see what this tube looks like. This is done. And this is hopefully not burnt. Okay, let's see. No pressure left. Not burned, yay! And it's not too runny either. That looks good. Alright. Test for the meat. Should be super tender. Let's see. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this is nice. And I can add some of the garlic as well now. Not too much, don't want to make it too garlic. Just gonna boil it a bit. I'm going to add a bit more paprika. And for me, it needs a bit more salt, but I'm not gonna add too much salt because my dad doesn't need too much salt, and it's healthier anyway. Just cook the garlic in. Oh, this looks amazing! It's a bit peppery. Mm, yes, the garlic. Oh wow, amazing. Oh, it does need a tiny bit of salt. Yeah, I'm just gonna reduce it a bit. But the consistency is nice already. Mm. Nice. Good, that was good. This is nice. This is nice. I'm not sure it's not sure it's 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 it doesn't it sound. Doesn't sound. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'll find out. I'll find out. Okay, okay, let's see it's hard. Get into the chopper! Come on, come on! Get into the chopper! Get into the chopper! Come on, come on! <laughs> amazing, amazing! I can't wait, I can't wait to try the soup. It should be even more amazing, more amazing. Let's do a taste Let's test. Let's do a taste test. With mum? With mum? Mm. 
Me costó lo de Me costó lo de Hogy? Hogy? Meg, 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 meg. Én nem is tudtam, nem is tudtam, hogy. Ja, nem tettem be a kockát. Szerintem finom. Hú, a hús. Sós? Direkt nem tettem be túl sok sót. Szerintem finom. Hú, egy kicsit is jön. Sós? Egy kicsit redukálni akartam. Még túl sok a szaft, nem? Direkt nem tettem be túl sok sót. Beef. Wow. Fatty, full of flavor. Amazing. It smells amazing. Beautiful. It's basically pasta, it's just eggs and flour. Oh, the smells are amazing. That's it. Job's done. Job's a good one. Enjoy my beer and finish my lessons for the day. And mom can tidy up. <laughs>